welcome to Chloe the Dev Unfiltered. Uh, today I am going to be popping into Crypto Voxels uh, for the Rare Effect Exhibition. So first I'm going to read through this little Medium post. I'll put this in the description of this video. So if you want to read the post and pop in yourself, definitely feel free. I'll also link this beautiful gallery um, in the link uh, in the description as well, so it would be easy to navigate through. But for now, let's go through this post. So this is the Rare Effect uh, exhibition. It's on the Mint Base uh, headquarters parcel in CryptoVoxel. So if you've seen some of my previous videos, uh, like the Advent Calendar, for example, you can definitely see, and the Treasure Hunt, I think I'm, there's some videos about that on YouTube somewhere, on the Mint Base uh, YouTube page. You can see how, like, the drastic changes that have happened to this parcel over the past few weeks to make this event happen. But in the wake of the recent pandemic, and with lockdowns being extended in Europe and across the world, culture and the arts have come under persistent existential threat. You know, galleries closed down, museums, you can't really get into them. So, and the structures that once supported artists in their livelihood are all but crumbling. Traditional structures, at least. Perhaps there exists an alternative, however, for artists, collectors, and the general public to revive the arts. For better or for worse, we are currently witnessing a major evolution in the way people and institutions transact uh, with art and performances, a phenomenon that has been facilitated by the advent of blockchain technology, decentralized finance, DeFi, and the emergence of non-fungible tokens, NFTs, which is what you know I work in now a lot and what we're going to be looking at today. As a newly formed decentralized autonomous organization, a DAO, so Art Progression Now, which is a DAO, is a rapidly growing community of creatives and developers working to advance digital and crypto arts in the interest of artists and the cultural sector. Their first exhibition, Rare Effect, which we're going to be uh, popping into today, will be hosted at Eros E Studios, a cultural venue in Lisbon, which is set to become the first physical exhibition space for rare digital arts pieces and crypto-enabled performances in Lisbon. So this studio is hopefully going to have a, like a second part of this event uh, live in Lisbon in a couple months once uh, galleries start opening up there. Rare Effect invites visitors to explore society's relationship to art through the lens of crypto economics, the concepts of rare, fair, and wrecked uh, terms which are prevalent in DeFi subculture form the conceptual basis for the exhibition. Ownership and exchange of digital assets, the provenance of art assets, tokenization, scarcity, and speculation will all become hands-on experience during this unique interactive event. It will be broadcast live in VR on the CryptoVoxels platform, and visitors will be able to interact with the art display, installations, and performances through the use of cryptocurrency and a digital wallet. So you'll need a MetaMask account uh, to interact more with the event. Uh, but to just to pop in, all you need to do is click a link and you'll be in the event in CryptoVoxels. So this is a little preview of the gallery like we saw. Rare Effect features a combination of visual pr projections, 2D and 3D digital displays, AR and VR exhibits, as well as performance art and live streams. The program includes exhibitions from the renowned crypto artists Burst and Abysms. I can, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that, but I've, I know this artist, I haven't heard of this artist before. Um, the new Into Crypto Erica Du and Sandra Aj, Aj, Araju, Arajo, having the UK techno and garage heavyweight Mo, Mosca and Deteronix, uh, assuring the music is aligned with the immersive rare effect experience. It also includes interviews with artists such as Italian sculpturist uh, Federico um, Clapis and talks from the partners approaching relevant topics in the field. Um, now we're just talking about who organized it. So at the end of this medium post, all you have to do, so I'm already in the event, but just to show how easy it is, I'm gonna click this link. You pop in, you click this link, and, oh, it brings you to the actual, this event. Uh, link to gallery. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. They have a Facebook link, and then they link to the gallery. And so we're going to load it up, and we are going to walk around. I have not seen this gallery before, 
So when you walk in, uh, let's show our bodies, right? You, know, you can use G to bring up your emote menu uh, where you can talk, use emotes or dance so we can wave. Hello, everybody. Hi. Okay, let's get going. So on the wall, you have some basic controls, WASD to move. You can use your mouse to look around. Um, C for third person, first person. Uh, F to fly. And then if you want to look at art pieces that are super far away, C to get back to your zoom. I'm sorry, to get back to your first person. And then Z to zoom. We can start looking at art farther away. So it looks like they're going to have a Twitch stream going on later, which is off currently. So you could tell because it says offline. And we're just going to walk around and look at some of the art pieces. So, so these are the art pieces from Islam Alam. Um, you've got some poetry on the walls here. I love, oop, looks like uh, my computer's having a hard time rendering everything at the exact same time. So let's go this way instead. <laughs> so this parcel here is where the advent calendar was previously. Okay, so some of the pieces, like it said, uh, if there's a play button, you could hit play. Oh, there you go. And you can see the art move. So let's look at the book Instagram. Um, there's a bed. Very interesting. You hit click it again, it'll stop playing. Um, let's see this one. Very interesting. And I like how like there's obviously a phone. It's like a phone screen. Wait, I can't even read it. It's not what you're looking for. It's almost like you're searching. Very interesting. Okay. Edit profile. Ah, on her. Gender identity, sexuality. Interesting. So it's about a lot of different social media platforms, I suppose, as well. See, this is where I wish there was like, like, I wish I could like figure out more information about the artist or about the artwork. Let's see. So Sandra Arajo. So this is one of the artists they were talking about on the Medium post. So hopefully they have some interviews during the Twitch stream. And so we could figure out more about these pieces. I'd love to. Very interesting. This one is one about Facebook, maybe the, the colors of blue. Oh no, just uh, let's look at this. a search. I can't even tell to be honest, but the pieces are definitely interesting and are causing me to think about some of the ideas they were talking about. Um, Rivka Det created this piece. So yeah, I wish there was maybe a little artist bio on each of these uh, placards. Uh, here, but it definitely makes you want to like search up these artists, figure out, see more of their digital art, see more of what they've worked on. This is a GIF here uh, by Laura P and Z. Again, I wish I could see a little more of their art, but still, um, loving the art that I am seeing here. Who's this stuff by? Oh, I think this is all by Powell Mendrick. Very cool. So this is just the first floor of the exhibit. Um, when you come out, I actually I want I did want to tour the outside of the gallery because they did a pretty good job in my opinion of adding like external. So this is that Twitch stream in the back of it. Uh, I think they added a, some pretty cool design. So if you get this like I'm getting it, all you have to do is refresh your browser, um, and it should all render again um, pretty easily and pretty quickly. Oh. Maybe not, maybe, oh, there we go. So look, up here they have some other pictures. So on the outside of these walls, the, what they're doing is they're adding pictures. Um, and so usually you have blocks, like for example, on these other parcels, you have blocks. And, uh, you, so you can change the design of the blocks or you can add pictures like this to be on top of the blocks and therefore to look a little more lifelike or you know real lifelike. Very cool. So what would have been cool here, in my opinion, is to like how this is still orange to have a little doorway here, maybe. But I didn't design it. There were some amazing designers who did. 
and they did a very good job. Let's see, let's get back in. Okay, so there's only one entrance, very cool. So everyone comes, that's smart though. Everyone comes in the same way. Uh, and by coming in this way, they're able to get the instructions and everything else about the gallery. So it was art by Kibo. Oh, there's more. I like I like like gifts and things that move. Um, so let's let's click these and and see what we can see. Very cool. Ah, they're like faces. See, I didn't even know. I didn't. I thought there were two distinct pieces at first, but it looks like they're uh, potentially like two faces. Let's see, because that's what I'm seeing now for sure. Uh, two faces and almost like a rickshaw puzzle type of. Or sorry, rickshaw diagram. What are they even called? I'm not even sure. Rickshaw test, I guess. Ooh, this one almost like you see a little face in between them as well at times. This reminds me of like a queen bee or something though. Um, so Sean Mick. Sorry, excuse me. Woo. Early morning for me. Actually, not that early. It's 8.30 in the morning for me. So usually I'm up around 6 a.m. Here in Antigua, the sun comes up pretty early. Okay, and then Burst was the uh, artist, the crypto artist that I didn't actually know of yet. So this is cool to see their artwork. Ooh, the whole thing moves. I like that. How like, you're getting like uh, the art piece is moving slowly, but there's actually a lot more movement than I realized at first. Everything's moving. Very cool. I like this piece a lot. Okay. So as we, actually I'm not even going to go, so we're upstairs now, right? So we walked through the bottom part of the gallery previously. Uh, F to, oh, this little bar area, very cool. Um, this piece is really cool too. So apparently there's a teleporter somewhere. I don't remember where it is. Oh, so show your love. You can send your support directly to our digital wallet. Okay, so if you like what you see here, you can take a picture of that, or you can just, you know, zoom in, take your phone, scan that QR, and send them some funds. I'm assuming this is an Ethereum code. Um, so, yeah. I don't see the teleporter, but either way, F to fly. So if you're on the ground, uh, hit F, you'll start going up. Move your mouse towards where you want to go, and then boom, we're here. And then F again to drop if you want. So let's put C to get first person. So this is more burst art. Ooh, this one moves as well. I really like this artwork. Crypto O F. Good. I I don't know. What that I don't know what that's saying. I love the ha ha ha. And this art is definitely making me smile though and making me laugh. And future of art. Crypto art is the future of art. I definitely agree. I think the ability for artists to sell their... I think the main thing for me is first of all the marketplaces. So the ability to sell your artwork for crypto I think is like the biggest thing. Uh, to do it securely and safely on online marketplaces. I mean, if it's digital art, there should be digital marketplaces. Um, and I think crypto solves a lot of the issues with digital marketplaces, cutting out the middleman and, and a lot of different things. So, Miss, I am the sprawling worked canvas on show. I am the wind uh, whales in the air. I am the damp bite on the strand. I am the blues and grays that art. Very interesting. It's like a... And I'm not sure if this is purposely, I think this is... But I like how it's, it almost becomes an optical illusion to me, at least. Where the portrait's moving a bit as I move. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or if that's just because of cryptovoxels, but either way. Ooh, very cool, very cool. Okay, so... So Emmanuel Koto, some really cool, uh, I think like, I guess, um, like digital art in terms of photography here. I think they're like standing, oh, sorry. This video will end soon once I'm done in the gallery, but uh, sorry, someone's calling me, I'll close that. Um, 
I always like seeing how different. I love galleries, and I haven't been able to get to a, like a you know a, a real world gallery in, a, in a, quite a long time now. So I always love seeing um, being in crypto boxes because you, there's just so many digital galleries and so many different types of digital art created by different types of people. Um, I have a gallery in crypto boxes as well. I need to do a lot more work in it, um, but I think that's the point. Um, everyone does a little part and then you can just walk around crypto boxes and see so many different galleries. Oh, yeah. Someone's taking a selfie, it seems. Storage room. Interesting. I'm, I'm, now I'm, I'm really excited to, to listen to whatever, whatever that Twitch stream is. Uh, so after I look at this art, I'm going to go and try and figure out when the Twitch stream is. Um, this is so interesting. Because I want to hear more about like what inspired this artwork, what programs they used to create it, you know, how long it took. Like, that kind of background story towards the art is what really gets me uh, yeah, I guess interested in, in seeing it. Like they're on a pool, like a digital pool. Yeah. That pool looks really cool though. I would not mind chilling on a pool like that right about now. Interesting. Oh, so they start from under the water. That's why those people look so interesting. So you start from under the water. Very cool. Oh, and you can like see beneath. Oh, this one's got sound. Okay, that's really cool. You can like hear Oh, oh no, I lost the wall. <laughs> oh, it's back. So you can hear the crinkling of the paper in this one. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Okay. I think this is one of the last videos that are here. Ooh, that is... See, this is where I want to know what is the artist trying to portray here? Because to me, I, I feel like a lot of different emotions from seeing this piece. Um, but I wonder if what I feel is what the artist intended. Okay, and that is the entirety of the gallery, I am pretty sure. Um, so I'm gonna go back down quickly and try and see. So they're doing uh, GMT timing. Uh, there's gonna be a talk at what is it? The 10th of February is the first day, so today. And the first talk is going to be at uh, today at 8 p.m. Okay, and let's see. I have no clue what time that is for me. So, um, 8 p.m. GMT. So for me, that is at 4 p.m. today. So right now it's 8 a.m. I'm here a bit early. I'm sure there will be some updates to a lot of different things over time. Uh, but that's a little quick, um, you know, pop around the gallery. I hope you enjoy it. I'll have this uploaded before the event starts, I suppose. And this is just a quick, um, yeah, a quick little pop around the gallery to see everything that's going on. So, uh, you know, oops. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And... Uh, until the next Metaverse adventure. Uh, thank you so much and hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.